Hello, hello, hello. Test one, two, test. I know I can. Well, I know you could hear me. Anyway, uh, welcome to the stream. And I will be going over the. How to draw hair. And so this will be available on YouTube for the duration of NPC Con as well as after. And. If you haven't already looked at the tutorial that I provided for the facial breakdown, um, that'd be a good place to start because it goes over the placement of where the eyes, the nose, and the mouth is. And that's pretty important when deciding on the face of a character. Um, for the examples that I'll be doing today, they'll have to do with loyal as well as I honestly don't know her name, but I will go look at it right now. Um, so while I do that, um, with regards to the tutorial earlier, the red area is usually where the hair falls, not only the top hairline, Murasaki, not only the top hairline where hair falls from but also the sides where they can move into multiple different directions so when drawing hair you always have to think of a few things one um where the origin point is and two how many origin points you're going to put in most this these tutorials will mostly be based on line art for the first few get the to get a really good sense of space and character and it's much easier to do this on the on your piece of paper as well if you want to join and you don't you don't have a tablet or a drawing software like i do um so the first character that we'll be going over is loyal loyal on one hand is a rather complicating character to draw because he doesn't all with he doesn't follow a kind of it doesn't follow simple air rules it, let's go with that he has multiple um, starting points um, not but it can be it be replicated simply by observation so while looking at the original tutorial we have these four these five lines Right? And so I'll be drawing them on, on the test dummies as well. Right? So while following where all of it is, right? Mapping out where each of it is. Mapping out each part. Right? And so while I call. So. 
So while observing Loyal, you'll see that his hair goes into a spiral from the top center. Okay? Putting your origin point there, you want to map out where each strand is going to go. So because it starts at the spiral in the center, you start at the center of that spiral, a little offset to the left, to the left right towards the heart, and you sort of end there because it doesn't what's called it doesn't follow through the entire way but what happens is that because loyal's hair is in multiple layers right hair doesn't isn't only in one layer but in multiple layers right you create multiple strands of turns i'm sorry if i'm a little too quiet <laughs> or if i'm stuttering so please don't worry about it too much Right. So while observing this, you have to keep in mind where each of where all his hair is going, where all his hair is going. Right. Not only do you have to continuously start at the origin point, you have to always remember that it's not just one straight line and it'll solve everything. You have to what's called constantly be thinking about where the net where the next origin point is and how does it connect to the what's called the end result right and so i'll be putting down more bands like this okay and so as you as you what's called observe more you'll see that um i'll zoom in right now i'll zoom in what you can see is that there's an opening part here, meaning that it overlaps, but also it's its own separate strand. Okay. And so while and so while observing, you'll see that his hair goes in every direction, but the outside edges tend to normally go into a ex um, tend to turn away from the inside of the face and you'll want to keep that in mind when drawing around the center and filling in parts where you'd like to draw but you don't know whether or not it should be there or something if that makes any sense but yeah by observing where the different what's called where masses of hair strand go strands go right you'll be able to map out where your own loyal's hair will be stuck up, stuck upon, right? If you look at here, there's a part that tips out, so you'll want to follow it in that kind of sense, right? Continuing down, continuing down, outside, cross, down, Cross into following this. This is one long line, and then and one point here. As you can see, the style usually has the hair what's called elevated up. Just because you draw it this way doesn't mean that the end product is going to be like this. So whether you're drawing on digitally or on paper, you can always either erase or you can always. Keep it in mind that you're going to be moving things around. Nothing's ever finished. Nothing's ever permanent. Okay? So I'm going to go and check to see if there are any questions. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Alright. So you have all... You have Loyal's um, placement down, right? Starting from the center. Circling outside, finding where the or following where the origin point is, right, and following through with what you see and observe. Now it doesn't have to be the same because as long as it has the same kind of feel and what's called look as Loyal's original hair, 
you can what's it called? You can get away with a lot of in fan art with regards to hair. Uh, it also, <laughs> but you also have to keep in mind when drawing a character or trying to replicate: is the hair, let's say, thick? Is it fluffy or is it thin? These kinds of questions help again shape whether or not um, the hair will look exactly like or even close to the character that you're trying to draw. I remember in my profile while drawing um, while drawing fan art for Oregairu, uh, while I was trying to draw her, the hair was really- it looked really thick and so you couldn't really um, tell it was her until you sort of give it a more light feel. And which was really bad, so yeah, that's one more thing that you have to keep in mind of. Okay? Whether the hair or not is thick, whether or not the hair is you know. So as you can see, Loyal's hair sort of looks like Sunday, right? That's not a mistake, it's just how the direction of the hair follicles are going, right? So I'll be lowering the opacity. Right? And setting a new layer. Right? Normally, when I start drawing, I tend to start at the origin point. Right? Because it, it allows for less erasing first. Uh, and second, you don't have you don't have to fight you don't have to fight it fitting the lines fitting, right? So let's say if I were to start over here, right? And then the hair fall hairs go this way, you wouldn't have to erase this part. So while starting here, right, you could start at this point and eliminating having to erase this part. Like little strand. Okay. So again, starting at the origin point and follow while looking at the reference, following the hair. Look, making sure that you're not missing anything, right? And moving up, whether where it needs to be, moving down where it needs to be. Um, it's called lowering it, lowering it, not lowering it. Drawing is a really complicated thing. I would not recommend going into. Psychology would be a lot better. Being a lawyer would be a better choice. Go. So while checking how it looks so far, I'll be drawing the outside because you don't see what this is going. Again, guessing and by observing his other, what's called, his other strands and its behavior, and you can guess, okay, that looks like it goes there. Or that does not look like it. Okay. Not being afraid to go back to where you still need information is an important part of drawing character. Never being satisfied with how your character looks is an important thing as well. While drawing the Josie um, fan art for the card, um, the card contest. I had to go over her design a few times with regards to her hair because it's so it was, so, it was something different that I've never actually have drawn before and it was it was an interesting experience because it what's it called it made me look at it not in what's it called not in just small groups but as a whole and how the shape of her hair could change its what's called um or change your looks 
right? Also because it was so amazing, it was interesting to see. I didn't change her hairstyle because it was it's, it was designed really well compared to how other um, compared to other NPCs. It was a really good experience. Something that, as an artist, you don't want to constantly be saying, "Oh, because I'm not used to it, I'm not gonna." draw it or oh I don't like drawing that. Um, that's something that you can't be continually continually continuously be saying or else you'll never get any better at it and you'll never be able to branch out into uh, different kinds of things. Okay, Brady's watching now, yay. Hello third person. Am I am I audible? Can you guys hear me? Like, post in the, post in the forms if you can hear me. Oh, no, two's gone now. Okay. There's one, two back. Okay, back to the drawing. So, again, um, if you can hear me, like, post. And if not, then I'm sorry. It's been quiet for the entire time. I'm still getting used to like streaming these kinds of things and because I can't get... Well, I honestly don't know how to do things. This is my first time. Not my first time, but my second time. Normally, it's just recording. Back to... No, but you guys don't care. <laughs> it's just about the hair right now. Am I being picked? Am I being- when I'm talk, I'm being picked up? Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. Now if you look, if you know anything about hair, hair- when hair covers ears, they tend to be pushed forward and out, right? And so by remembering that like forward push, right? You have to create a sense of pushing, right? Outwards motion. And so by drawing it drawing the hair like this, right? It creates an illusion that this part is in front of what's called the back part. Right? Same with this. By create by moving this together, right? It creates again the illusion this part is larger than this. Right. Or this part is closer to the camera than the thing behind it. Okay. Again, if you're having dull, when you're sketching out these kinds of things, you don't want to be what's called pressing on your paper too hard, right? When you're doing this traditionally because you'll be creating a big map. You have to remember pressure is an important key and especially when drawing hair. Pressure is the thing that makes hair. It, by dithering it, by dithering the edges or actually not joining them, it creates the kind of what's called cool effects and feathery effects hair has to... Yeah, right? Yeah, so am I am I being picked up? Am I being picked up? I'm on post. I'm on post. Oh. Oh. I'm on post on my on the official fan artworks. I'll put a URL in the text. I think I think you guys can get it, just even if. Just like because again, I'm testing all of this out as I go by doing this. Um, because it's not, I don't know if this is something I'd like to be doing. 
during the entire NPC, but of course having someone telling you or at least guiding you in a way like this helps a lot of different people and they can right away ask questions or post pictures and have someone that might be better or other people's opinions whether it looks the same or not right or if you're better than me then by all means post and I'll block no shit <laughs> I won't block no, that's just okay so this goes like this and this goes like that okay so increase putting this higher so that it looks more smoother right and so having to erase this erasing isn't bad right but it's drawing too hard is what causes problems in the future for drawing your characters on paper again this just because it's being drawn like this doesn't mean that you can't trans transfer this on what's called on pen and pen, pen and paper right i'm not doing anything that is impossible that you can't not do on um on paper for the sake of those that don't again don't have it but want to learn how to draw uh, okay. yeah so again this this is how it looks so far right as i am it's not 100% because this isn't in my own style, but it's close. I think it's close. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. There you have it so far. This again, it's the rough. We'll have to wait and see. The next one that I'd be doing is Murasaki, and why I chose Loyal and Murasaki is, is because they have really they have a big difference in hairstyles one has pigtails while the other does not have pigtails while one has curls the other um well okay you already knew that but <laughs> it's it's something that you we need to keep in mind right it's something that it's it's largely different so I won't be drawing her bandages, but because again, this is a tutorial about hair, and so again, I'll do the same thing that I did last time. Put down the starting positions, right? So because ponytail, right? It'd be two because hair is being pulled this way, right? But then also because she has bangs that don't fall away. We'd have an origin point here, we'd have an origin point here, and everything else. So meaning, what I mean by this is that everything's going to go down this way. Everything's going to be going down in one way or another. Everything's going to be like this, something like this. Right? And so with your origin point, it'd be up, right? And then you'd be going down. You only for ponytails like this, you really only have to draw one line, right? But you'd have to expand you have to expand it out. Imagine it how it would continue forward. How would it like as a 3D object? Right? You always have to be thinking of it. How does it look as a 3D object? Right? And then I'll be drawing the bows as well. Right, because they're the important part. They're the things that are holding up the ponytail. Or they're not called point, they're called pigtails. No, not pigtails. Twin tail. I don't know what they're called. I draw a lot, guys, and I don't know what they're called. Ponytails. No, I'm pretty sure they're called ponytails. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm on a huge delay because they're a fine person long for it.
Thank you, gentlemanly swindler. Thank you very much. I'm all, I'm actually trying to stay quiet because I don't want to be sh like, Normally, I'm a very exciting per not exciting, but when I'm nervous, I tend to go into this kind of oh, I'm really quiet and a nice guy. No, don't get me wrong, I'm a really nice guy, but. There we go. How many people are watching? Three people are still just watching. Yeah. Hopefully by next stream there'll be more people. And hopefully there'll be more people that join NPC Calm. It's disappointing because I must have missed the announcement or they didn't. Okay. So we have that. So like I like what I did before. I'll be copying this and moving this. Oh, no. Mm, this is up. Okay, here we go. Are we moving this? Okay. okay, there you go. Oh. Okay, so I'll be lowering the opacity, right, so that you can see, and I'll be turning off the previous one because the hair is falling into the next, this image. There you go, okay. Anyway. New layer. Okay. So, there we go. Normally, when I what I tend to do is I start with the bangs of this one rather than not starting in the back or starting at these origin points. The bangs are again are on the forefront of the face, right? And they make up the face. I'll be doing it in red, but again, it you could do this in any medium pencil, crayon, just as long as you start drawing. It's really it's just starting. The so what I'm doing here is what I do at the top is I tend to think of it as hair clothes. A little bit of pasty. As hair clumps. So zoomed in. What I think is this is one section. So I cut this off, right? And connect this here. Right? So for the next one, here's another. I'll just finish off the bottom. So that you can see. So this is the end. Right? For simplicity's sake. So yeah, here's another hair clump, right? So starting here, from where we marked off, our top would be. There, finished one. And then starting at the bottom, finished two. Simple. Okay, these bangs. And because hair moves, is starts from the skin. Just a little triangle. So just... Same with the other side, you start off with one edge and you follow through, you don't end it just like go second first, second line and then the ending because how I see it there's only two and so there you go. And so like last time, starting from this origin point, first block, second block. Six, six, 
I got it. The first. What's this? Yeah. The front mirror. Right on the face. It's like drawing is really simple. You pick up a lot of like tips and tricks to make drawing really quick and easy. So again, because this is the top of this, because this is the top of the head. Here we go. Bow. Right. Here's fall. Bows are really simple. Uh, if you want a tutorial on bows, um, wait, ask. But for bows, they're really simple. You just it's center point, fan it out. If it's facing the top, then you need to show the bottom. If you're facing the bottom, then you have to show the top. So because it's facing the top, you have to show the bottom. And then loop down and one side of the bowl, same with the other side. Fan, facing top and bottom, circle, loop. And fan. Simple. Origin points. Again, fan. And connect. And then. The frills. And fan. And the frills. Yeah. So, again, if you didn't catch that, center button. Fan it out, right? However big you want. There's an indent in the center, right? And point. And connect. And connect. And throw. So what I'm doing on the top is I'm just what's called circling it around, right? And because it's split in the center, from the center, I move it from the center. A point from the center into one of these bow into one of these bow pointing towards them right curving because the head is just a flat like surface it's a curve right well okay that's not fair to a lot of people normally it's not a flat surface right right so again even on the bottom it's a Pointing towards where the ponytail, pony, <laughs> twin tails, are what's called forming, right? Because you have to pull hair towards those to make the braid or to make the tie, right? Okay, so let's see how it looks by itself. There you go. So this is a simple base. The twin tails are are a different issue, right? Because again, like I said earlier, you need to think of it as three-dimensional. You can't think of it as flat. So by connecting, by doing the first one, normally what I do is I go down directly. First, down directly, right? And then a second leading one, but not touching each other, so parallel to each other, right? They don't have to be perfectly um, the same size all throughout. You just have to let's go, not touch each other. What happens again? I come from here, but because and I have to think of it three dimensionally, I either put another here, right? Touching, not touching, doesn't matter for the second one. And then the third one is directly down, right? So it's like a s vomiting rainbow. <laughs> a waterfall. Let's go with waterfall. That sounds a lot better. There. So with the main one, because it's the right, you'll be following. All the other ones will be following it, right? And when twin tails like these tend to change between dominant, um, dominant hair strand, and what I mean by that is the one that's at the front. Okay. There we go. So from following that, and ima again imagining it in three dimensions, right, we would fall down this way. 
Again, nothing. This, these are just guidelines. They're not meant to be set in stone. They're not meant to strain you. They're actually just meant to show you where these things are supposed to go and whether or not you want them there after you set the guideline. Okay. So you don't, again, you don't have to follow it directly. It's important to know as an artist where, what to follow and where to follow. And so while you're doing these kinds of exercises, while you're like practicing these kinds of things, you have to imagine, you're always imagining things in its third, um, in its third, it's in its three dimension, right? How does it look as a person or how does it look in real life or how can I, how does it form this when it's tilted in a certain way? These are the kinds of things that you want in your, what's called, while you're thinking as in these kinds of things, okay? So normally one, two, three, four, five, five strands, but because again, I'm just showing it to you. you I'm just showing it to you as a way to, um, what's called, how to draw this, you don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? It doesn't have to be the same. It doesn't have to have five strands. It doesn't have to have, what's called, those kinds of zigzags it's, or at the ends, highlights. I won't be coloring them now, but sooner or later I'll be doing a coloring tutorial when all of the basics are shown. And so it will be the same on the other side, right? Straight down, remain one, right? Color hook. Right, checking to see if I got any what's called any questions or concerns. Like, oh hey Zola, that does not look like loyal or that does look like loyal, but then we're beginning one sometime today. At which point a lot more people should be coming to Oh also I stuck into hot topics. Morning I'm sorry. I do seem to be on a so Oh no, it's fine. Like everyone's on a several minute delay. Don't worry about it. Like everyone's. I don't know how to fix that because I, when I was going into my settings, it's it. I said zero. There was actually a delay happening in the audio as well, and so there's nothing you can do about it, right? There, there's nothing you can do about. It. Yeah, we're just in a delay the entire time. But please don't wait. Okay, oh, my internet is acting up or no? No. <laughs> okay. Everyone should be on a delay. Also allows me to like, if I if something does happen, I could give a seven minute warning. Oh, in seven minutes, I'm not gonna be here. I'm gonna be taking a drink of water. <laughs> mm, just again talking to yourself. This is a little weird. Hmm. Okay. So again, this time I'm being a little more rougher because it's these are the kinds you don't do. You don't make this. You don't take your time on the on here. Here you want to have long strokes and then fix. It's app. That's what you want. You want long strokes and you'll fix that. Because the more strokes that you put down the, when you're making a line, the more place space you get you have to make mistakes. Right? So one long stroke like neat is clean. Uh, you don't have to do a lot of erasing, you don't have to clean up lines. Except if you push down hard enough, but you should actually have your what's, um, sensitivity on your tablet. Set. So again, this is how Murasaki's hair is drawn. This is how you get her kind of hair. Down. So if again, because this is the kind of thing that 
They have to erase under there. Even eyebrows. Like, much as. Sometimes you can get away with not erasing eyebrows, sometimes you can't get away. It's up to your discretion. It's really up to you. Alright. There you go. Um, okay, Derich. He doesn't have hair, so. Uh, I'm sort of lost on that one. Anyway, again, this is how we draw. This is how we draw. This is how artists normally draw. This is how what we think when we draw. So now making a good copy of all this. Making a good copy. So these two. When you're drawing, when you're drawing, right? Until it has ink on it, until it has like the good copy on it, or like good copy sign on it, it's never, it's never done. It's, it's not something that. There's, there you go. Or the basically right. oh. and you have to fall and like always you, until it's done it's never absolutely finished you could always change where the placement Okay, come on, please. Hey! Sorry, that was bad. Okay. So... Yeah, again, like I was saying, it's never, it's never done. Right? Until you put down that baseline. Okay, how long have I been talking? Um, about, oh my gosh, almost an hour already, okay, cool, okay, um, always, when you're drawing, remember, but always be place, always be construct constructive criticism, give yourself constructive criticism. Like, oh, it doesn't look this way, so a good way to change it is adding like this. Or adding this, or changing your kind of line style into kind of thing. But while I'm drawing this, even now, I'm thinking Boyle has a kind of like rough, rectangular, um, rectangular size um, self to him. He has, he has a kind of great joker look to him and so while drawing this i'm starting to change how i place my lines into the kind of like boxy not smooth look that i have right even with the edge it should be more geometrical Geometric. Geometric. And so again, hopefully with the announcement and with what's called with these kinds of with more showing showiness. Um we get more people and we get more questions and we get more requests hoping that, oh, someone wants to draw this character, someone wants to draw this other character. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And someone gets something out of this, no matter if they're having, if they're struggling with hair, if they're struggling with eyes, if they're struggling with hands, um, I'd be able to provide that in this week's time. So, again, if there is anything you want to learn how to draw, in regards to our NPCs, or in regards to, yeah, in regards to our NPCs only, because this is NPC con. 
please let me know. Um, I'm not... Even if I don't know it all too well, I will be able to at least give you some advice when approaching something that you don't really know how to actually approach, right? And asking questions is the basis of learning, right? Um, it's why we're able to advance so much further than we've had recently because questions are being answered, right? And I'll be available all throughout the con if you ever need counseling about, let's say, hands or a certain dress or why, why Dear Rich looks like that. I won't know, but I'll be able to tell you how he, how to draw him. Um, yeah, and if you have any suggestions for me, like, oh, speak up more, or I don't like the resolution, or I need to be giving out free popcorn while I'm doing this, well, let me know. Like, I will come to your house and hand you popcorn. You know what I mean? Like, I need the address, but... Oh, so, there we go. So, rec geometric, straight lines, not curve. These are the things you have to be thinking about when drawing more. Not smooth hair, not smooth um, clean cut, realistic lines. It's about his jagged kind of obscure. Obscure attitude, right? That's all I've always seen from them. I kind of, I don't care about. Or you look fun to play with, right? Racing the, the back, right? Racing this. this, and racing this. Right? There you go. Boy. And so I'll be... I won't be providing a PDF copy, but if you want a PDF copy, uh, please let me know and I'll upload that. So that you can also... So that you color his face or so you can, what's called, follow the lines or follow... What's called? See how I did this place if more clearly if it's not clear enough on your screen. Um, so same with here. Thinking of Murasaki, it's more smooth. It's like silky hair because again, not because this is how I think. It's because she's a girl and this is how she was wrong. Right. The look of innocence in one eye, the look of that like double character I always thought was really interesting. And so there's this one artist on in the contest that drew her in the two different um, expressions of both like dark and light. And I was like, oh, this is really cool. One thing I wish I did with uh, my submission for the card contest okay. a more exploration of who Hosey, Josie was, right? And like if she did have that kind of dual personality look, okay? And so right after tomorrow, oh well, no. The week after, I will be doing a tutorial on, or not the week after, Monday, I'll be posting a tutorial on how to draw the full bodies of certain characters. So, if you have any character that you want to, um, you want their body type, um, please post in my, in the forums or comments on this video. So, it on the 27th, I will be doing that. So, 
any requests from here to tomorrow, I will be drawing it as best I can and explaining it as Again, the thought of smoke. When you're drawing these kinds of characters, when you're drawing any material or when you're drawing anything, think of the kind of material. Think of what you're drawing and it'll help you. It'll help your lines a lot better than if you were just drawing, just drawing, just drawing. Right? So if you're drawing a slime, your lines would be more, what's called, fluid, more like more silky or more what's called light and if you're drawing a rock let's say a rock monster then it'd be more what's called concrete it'd be more harsh the lines would be connecting to one another in like geometric okay? loyal's hair is not so much because again it's still hair you want him to you want it to still be movable, okay? So you give that kind of leeway between, or you give that differentiate. You're differentiating what rough hair versus what a rock texture looks like. And you'd be changing oh, what's silk different. How silk different from Murasaki's? Murasaki. Yeah, that's how you say, that's how you say it. I read lots of manga and Names for the first thing that goes flies over to my flies over my head. I see? Yeah. Okay. A good different distance. I might keep it in the the microphone in this this far away from me from now on. Whenever recording or something. Right. And when drawing what's called NPCs or when drawing anything, again think of like what it is you want to portray while drawing. Right? What is it that... What do you want them to be doing? Or what do you want them to... How do you want them to be seen? Right? So... How do you want Moil to be seen? How do you want Rosaki to be seen? How do you want... Erich to be seen? Right? If you want him to be seen as like serious, then you wouldn't give him those kinds of like big glowing eyes. You'd be giving him a more serious kind of look. So it's again because of his character and how what I explained in my previous tutorial, his character doesn't allow doesn't really allow for that kind of serious nature, right? Unless of course he was cosplaying. Right? Unless you want him to be like Sherlock, or you want him to be more like Cyrus. I'm gonna scoop my chair out. Alright. Just these little things that affect what a character is, and who a character is, and why we like love them, is again because of these small things that we as artists, or we have we as people that enjoy these kinds of things have to pick up on that we have to um what's it called yeah oh yeah okay oh there we go one twin pigtail and like i said last like like i said before until these what's called until the finishing line is put down it's still free to change you don't have to lay you don't have to conform to what you previously drew right so like what you're seeing I'm not connecting them I'm leaving a gap right because it's still one form hair still moves the hair altogether two entails still move together as one entity right. 
Hello to other people watching. Sorry, I'm just checking to see if there's any questions or... What's that? Yes, it is. It's a very like interesting exchange. Um, it's called exchange, but again, it's it's one of the perks to um, technology is that you know, even if uh, we can, we can learn whatever we want, right? As well, we could request anything that um, we want or we desire, right? So of course, like Leon will be one of them, different kinds of body um, sizes and different types of body types and why it's important and why it's not like why it's important to be able to draw different kinds of body types right because there's a real surplus surplus of oh I only draw it's called females because that's what I'm used to but you don't understand why like just because you like it does doesn't mean that that's the only thing that you should be drawing, right? You won't grow any other way if you don't try practicing a different style. But anyway, um, yeah, this will be the end. Again, if there's any questions, I'll s you could message me. You can post on the forums, right? Um, because this is pretty much where. I'm gonna be ending the video today. Um, yeah, if you want the PDF, if you want to request, if you want, um, what's it called? If, again, if you want any, if there's any questions that you still have in mind, right, please post on the forums or what's called, message me, PM me, um, my deviant art is in my signature on my Gaia. Um, Tumblr. What else is there? Tumblr and Twitter and YouTube. Um, every Thursday or Wednesday, I do a speed paint where I talk about anything related to otaku, otakuness, and things about art. Last video was about how to deal with art and how to change the perception of the art that you make. And so again, thank you very much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, like and please enjoy NPC Con. We still have up to August 2nd, I believe. Yeah, August 2nd, so next month. I can't believe it's already August. Almost August. Anyway, so yeah, thank you very much and I hope you have a great rest of the day and a great rest of the NPC talk. Oh no, no, this one, no, no. Okay.